I want to thank RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring this video. You need a mattress for your RV or home? These people have one. You get a 120 night sleep trial, free shipping, and a 10 year warranty. And best of all, they're made right here in the good old US of A. So go to rvmattress.com slash campervankevin. Use the coupon code campervankevin and get 20% off your purchase. All right, back to our regularly scheduled program. So you can have some so, lemon So tea. Carolyn knows what it is now. You're going to make oh some my gosh, it seasoning. Smells, it smells great. Huh? Oh my, it smells like a lemon peel. It, it really it's does. It's amazing. And it's I've got it stuff. all over the ground here, huh? Everywhere. That's God's treat for us, how to live <laughs> off the land. <laughs> I that hear is you. good. Oh my gosh, have you smelled it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Hmm. Me, I'm pretty good. Well, something I haven't told you about that I've been working on. Um, I have ordered another building for RV base camp. I couldn't find a used one. So I have, I'm here at uh, Graceland Buildings here in Sholo, Arizona. Um, it's been about six or eight weeks since I ordered my building. I wanted a place that I could get my motorcycles out of the weather. Um, I wanted a place I could use for storage so it free up the cabin. It's going to be a huge living room entertainment room. Anyway, I needed a place to put that stuff and a place to put my motorcycles out of the weather. So uh, I was coming towards Sholo and I passed my friends the shed movers, uh, Sholo shed movers, and she texted me, Alyssa did, and said, hey, your building's on the lot. You ought to go take a look at it. They're going to deliver it tomorrow. So uh, let's go look at it together. I spy right there. I think that's it. I got it colored up the same as the cabin. with a brownish orange paint in the green roof. Got a lot of buildings here to choose from. Well, most of them are actually sold, but I've been waiting for quite a while for this one. Well, there she is. It's the same exact style as the purple tiny house. Well, same style and the same size. Got a roll up door here. It's already scratched. Really? <sighs> yep, the rest of it looks all right. My OCD got me. You know, just because I have OCD it doesn't mean I'm wrong. That's what I keep telling Felix. No windows and one entry door. I wonder if it's open. It is. Hot diggity, dog diggity. It's got uh, extra trusses under here for support. 10 by 20. Everybody wants to know what things cost. I don't do it to brag or I don't do it because I want people to send me money. I do it because people like to know the prices of things. It was just a little over $8,000. And I got a measure, but I'm thinking red may fit in here. Um, a stock tracker will fit in here, but I've got those oversized tires on red. So, the floor will hold it, but I'm uncertain if I can get in the door. It'll be really, really close. It'll be within inches on either side. 
So there we go. I really like these Graceland buildings, as you can tell. And you know what? If I ever find another piece of property that I like better than mine, well, I'll just pick up my little houses and move them and sell, sell the land there if that's what I want to do. And look at here. That is uh, the same type of wood that a beetle kill wood. So they are starting to use it in places. Good. Nothing wasted. It'll feel right at home at RV base camp. Look at this board right here. The uh, the beetles were uh, they came in from Japan. Japanese beetles. Someone brought some over. They got over here, and the trees don't have any defense against them here. And there's hundreds of thousands of acres in Arizona and New Mexico, well, all over the probably all over the West. These beetles burrow into the pine trees and kill them. We actually had some in Georgia. Now that I remember, we had to cut all our pine trees down in the early to mid 80s. Anyway, what I was told is when they bite into the tree, the tree releases an enzyme to try to fight the infestation and it turns the wood bluish. Some people call this blue denim, but it's quite beautiful. I wish more people would use it and start building with it. But I got mine, the interior out of mine um, from, a, from a lumber mill. Uh, but I've seen tongue and groove and high-end stuff made with it. Otherwise, the trees are just standing there and it's just a tender box. That's where all these fires in New Mexico were last year. Well, here she is. They'll bring it to the house tomorrow morning. I heard the truck. There's my building. Golly, look at my flowers, y'all. Wee. Morning, Jerry. What's up, Kevin? How are you? We've we've done this uh, once or twice before. A couple times. How are you this morning? Good to see you, you sir. Right? Yes, sir. Where's yeah. Alyssa? Right there. Right behind you. Yeah. Get her. Arizona is in bloom. Unbelievable. It's White Mountain Shed delivery. Morning, Kevin. Hey, Alyssa. Howdy, everybody. We, we've done this before, right? Many times. You got, you got that 6-0 running yet? No, oh, it's in the same place. Still in the same spot. I put a tur that turbo on there just the other day thinking it might have been that turbo that went out. Nope. And it didn't change it. So. We well, still got those heads that uh, yeah. Paul gave you. Yeah. Yeah. The plan right now is to. So you saw you saw the scratch, right? I didn't want y'all to get blamed for it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I know a guy in uh, Vernon who works on those. I don't know how expensive he is, but I'm thinking about maybe. Let him do it. I'm going ahead and giving him a call because the other guys that I normally use, like, you know, they don't return my calls or nothing. So, so busy. I'm gonna... Maybe you'll get it working. Huh? Maybe you'll get it running. Yeah. Yeah. If, if the other guy gets his hands on it, I think he, you know, it will. It just depends on how much I want to pay for it. No kidding. Get that done.
I got a culvert coming in in a day or two, but it's not going to help us right now. I moved the Bigfoot over here beside Felix's Miss Gypsy. So there's Lady Lady Bigfoot and Miss Gypsy together. Carolyn and Ron camped over there to the other side of the cabin. Tractor guys coming today. Level all this out. Absolutely. Negotiating the rock piles here. I was going to go eight feet between the buildings, but we put it six. I think that's going to be far enough apart. We used this uh, power cord and I ran it from here over, like using a string to make sure that the backs are square. So I put blocks under under this, but I believe I'm going to set this one right on the ground so it'll be easier to get in and out of the door. Babies, y'all did good. Y'all stayed out of the way. The buildings delivered so the first time the first time Alyssa was over here she was pointing out that uh, something about this uh, sap is this a pinion tree Alyssa? It is. they call it pinon 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 so uh, obviously this tree's been hurt once but um, it it bleeds, so it's um, it protect, it's basically protects itself from insects. a scab so actually this one right here if you see this, and, and you what, see, what are we the, looking for? We're looking for those red dots right there. That right there, actually, look, I got a splinter right there. What you what you do is you put just like about that much on there. I've got a band aid in my car. I'm actually going to use it. Okay. Put a band aid in the car. Keep it on there for a couple of days. It's a drawing sap. It also gets rid of abscesses. It oddly, when it's crunchy like this, see this is crunchy. Mm -hmm. It cleans your teeth. No I mean, there's a bunch of other different kinds of like so you said, healing, the, you said the Indians use that Indians um, right old that. school grandmas and grandpas I actually learned that from a friend in Clay Springs his great grandmother used to use that it'll pull out splinters use it for the dogs any kind of stuff like that tell me, tell me like, it out. so what what kind of uses so it pulls out splinters pulls out splinters uh, it, it will relieve an abscess, um, even in your mouth or your gums. If you've got a sore tooth, sore mouth, it gets kind of gummy mm -hmm. and it gets kind of icky sometimes, but it will relieve an abscess. It'll draw out that secretion, um, uh, any type of splinters or, uh, metal, metal shavings, okay. anything like that. It works great. 
It really works great. It's good stuff. Well, thank you for letting me know. And there's You're a welcome. There's a lot of this around around here. A ton of it. Uh, I'll also show you about the moline plant. There's moline all over here, and that's for lung lung health and huh. congestion and stuff like that. And I don't necessarily see any on your property, but yeah, that those little flowers, those little yellow flowers. And you were showing me this here. Yes, sir. This is what you called it, lemon weed. I I call it lemon herb. And what it does is if, if you grab it and you roll it in your hand like that and you smell it, mm -hmm. it smells, it has a strong lemony smell. Yep. And what you can do is you can make this into tea. Now, don't do this if you don't know what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Look it up and make sure you're, you you're right aware. Stuff. But if it doesn't, if you don't, if you rub it and it doesn't smell like strong lemon no, like you did, then don't do it. It's not the right one. Otherwise, um, lay it out for a couple days. Pick a bunch, lay it out for a couple days, and dry it out. And you can uh, scrunch it up with some salt and pepper. And you got lemon pepper seasoning. It All works right. great. Yeah. Well, Pretty thank neat. you. You're welcome. So you can have some so, lemon So tea. Carolyn knows what it is now. You're going to make oh some my gosh, it seasoning. Smells, it smells great, though. Oh, my. It smells like a lemon peel. It really it's does. amazing. And it's I've got it stuff. all over the ground here, huh? Everywhere. That's God's treat for us, how to live <laughs> off the land. <laughs> God's good. You. Oh my gosh, have you smelled it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, the Moorlands, they have their own YouTube channel. They do uh, shed installs, shed repos. Alyssa and Jerry. So everything is done here. So now I got a place to put my bikes. The tracker most likely will fit. I believe uh, when I get the tractor here, uh, put a, a a board or something under there and backfill it, and just use uh, rock and gravel as my ramp. I don't know. I'm just kind of kind of thinking about it. So there you go. Another shed at RV. Base camp. Good job, baby May Mays. You were sweet to everybody. Yeah, I'm sweet. Yep, so yep, stay yep. tuned to the end of this video. When Carolyn and Ron got here, we got some video of them coming in and parking, and we had a campfire the other night. Couldn't figure out any other way to integrate it into the video, so it'll just be after the credit. So after the uh, responsible people, responsible people help keep parks open sign. So. Okay, well, I think that's going to make today's video. So I'm going to end it where? This video where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. And you guys take care. And as always, what? I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, he's my savior. See you next time. Bye-bye. I have company here at RV Base Camp. Carolyn and Ron got here right before Felix leaves. They're figuring out how they're going to park. Come on back. Yeah, this pad here has uh, been finished since you were here. But, uh, yeah, got a lot of rocks to level yet. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. My grader guy, he's been real busy. Sir, how you doing, Felix? All right. Good to see you. That's right. Escape artist. <laughs> Not all my landscaping's done yet.
I've had the rock for a month and a half, but. Is your uh, spreader guy not working these days? He's got a lot going on. <laughs> She'll get to you. She likes you a lot. Hey, so once a week, Jeannie, we need Yeah, first four doses once a week, three hours. Where'd yeah. Tucker go? And then Come on, Tuck. Then they give me a scan. It's a mass shrink, so take me off. If not, I'll continue the chemo and some shrinks. Martini is helping Ron cut the firewood. So whenever we get a stick, she wants a stick. Woo! Help him, Martini. Help him. Help him. Watch out for that saw. You see, somebody give me a stick. Hey, you're not doing it right, Ron. Here you go. Change your mind. Ron, I don't have a first aid kit. I'm just okay. saying. <laughs> there you go. We'll have us a fire here in no time. I don't know, Dad. You're kind of bad at building fires. Tucker, that's not true. It is true, too. Ron has changed techniques. There we go. Carolyn's on Facebook, YouTube, working. So you're working. I'm working, yes. <laughs> well, if I can't sit with Carolyn, let's go back here and sit on my bed and stuff. Huh? What's wrong with me, anyways? You were in her lap earlier, Tuck. Up Come on, baby May Mays. Fires are cooking. Won't be long now. Where there's smoke, baby May May, there's what? Fire. R runny eyes and noses? No fire, baby. Yep, you're hard. You're hard there, Ron. If uh, Apache Junction don't work out for you, you always come up here and stay with me. Is it cooking for me too? Uh, does does uh, Carolyn uh, do the cooking? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Free parking. Free parking. Yes, sir. All the uh, all the sunshine, fresh air, and views you can stand. The fire begins. Got a bunch of this kind of wood laying all around RV base camp. I got enough firewood for years. Piles of limbs and stuff. That's not good. You're hired. Pays not much, but the company's good. Right. Wish we had a, we wish we wish we had old Felix here. We miss you, Felix. Yeah. Haven't been gone just a few hours. When you get back, we'll have a bunch of people in a fire. <laughs>